Thank you for joining me on my masterclass now where can we park money so we can pack money out now with my subscribers we've been making money if you're my subscriber we've been making a lot of money so whether it was just the last one with eli lily where we bought at 772 dollars per stock and then in 48 hours it went from 772 dollars to 935 dollars or whether it was Chipotle, where we made about, uh, uh, was it 5% from, or NVIDIA, we bought at 100, and then it went to 124, 125 actually, so that's 25% uh, increase in a period of 72 hours, we're always going to be making money. But what I find, um, I'm going to say maybe a bit concerning, probably irritating, is like I see some people, they ask me, should I buy now? Should I buy now? you got to look at my record. If you look at my record, you see that I have a consistent record record of delivering money making stocks and cryptos so if you start asking me should i buy now when the stock has actually peaked i mean it's it's quite silly because obviously the stock has peaked so if you buy now i mean when you go up you know the only way is going to be down when you've gone all the way up so if you want to buy stock if you want to make money you got to buy when i ask you to buy don't just sit around and wait and look and then when the stock pops or when the crypto pops for instance i told you guys yesterday no sorry not yesterday two days ago i said buy bnb at that point it was trading at 514 dollars and then it got to 546 dollars today and then I, I told you guys to sell and because i told you it was going to start dropping and a bunch of people were asking me should i should i buy now listen you got to have confidence not in me but have confidence in my record because the best predictor of future behavior is past behavior so look at my record look at my record now what i want you guys to do is this get your money out of bank whatever bank you have get your money out of banks and then you got to put your money in these stocks I'm going to be giving you now why am I going to be giving you these stocks if you look at the US economy now you're going to see that the US economy there's been some things happening on August 5th we had the Department of Labor and Statistics they gave the jobs report unemployment numbers you know and then we found out that the United States only only had 114,000 new jobs for the month of July 176,000 were expected but they only delivered around 14,000 new jobs. So there was a shortfall. And then unemployment went up by 0.2%. So it went up, it's now 4.3. In the last month, in June, it was 4.1. So it's gone up by about 0.2%. Now, if you look at August 14, when they released the CPI, CPI just means the Consumer Price Index, you see that for the month of June we've, to July, we've had an uptick in inflation. It's gone up by about 0.15%. 0.15%. So that means that the U.S. Federal Reserve Bank has tamed inflation. You know, uh, year over year, it's gone up 2.92, which is, I mean, it's kind of bad, but it's much better than it used to be. So obviously, they've tamed inflation now. What that means, because if you look at the jobs numbers, you know, companies are not hiring and then inflation has gone down. That means that the feds are going to reduce interest rates because that's what they were trying to achieve, that equilibrium. They've now gotten it. So they're going to reduce interest rates now. When they Because people aren't buying houses as much as they used to in the United States because of high interest rates. If you go to a bank now in the United States, they're going to be giving you an interest rate of about 8% or more. And so people are not buying houses. So when the feds reduce interest rates, which is likely going to be in September. You know, it might be in October, but I think it's going to be in September. JP Morgan Chase, you know, um, most of the big analysts, you know, including Zach's Investment Research, they believe it's going to be in September. What's going to happen is that money is going to be available. You know, people are going to be able to obtain loans at very, very, I mean, affordable rates. So it's not going to be 8%. It's going to be something like maybe, maybe 4%, 3%, you know, below 5%. And so everybody and their mama is going to be going out to buy a house and the housing industry real estate is going to boom so what you want to do before that happens you want to get stock in the biggest real or rather be home building firms in america now i would recommend dr horton dr horton because i think that people are going to be buying homes in fact i know that i think i know people are going to be buying homes and it's going to impact on their stock now for those who already have homes in the united states what happens is this when the interest rates go down there's something in the united states called the equity line of credit so you can borrow money from your house but people are not borrowing money from your house right now because the rates are high but when the feds reduce rates they're just going to take money from their house their loc line of credit and they're going to go and make improvements in their home maybe you know build uh, a garden you know like uh, or put some new furniture or you know just probably like whatever they're going to do they're just, they're just going to do home improvement so stocks like home depot are going to go up they're going to explode so i'm going to encourage you you know to get 
DR Horton, which is, I think, the largest home builder in America, and then Home Depot. And then also get the VOO, the Vanguard VOO, you know, because the stock market is going to be doing very well once the rates are reduced. So the stock market is going to explode. So all of these mutual funds and ETFs that are linked to indices like the S&P 500, the Nasdaq Composite, and then the Dow Jones Industrial Average are just going to explode. Of, the, of all of them, I believe, in my opinion, the best is the VOO. So get the VOO. Now, if you do this by December, I, I, but it's going to be wrong for me to just guarantee you because it's unethical but i can almost guarantee you that you're going to make substantial amounts of money maybe about between 30 to 35 percent you know return on your investment now this is the apostle of prosperity if you have got questions arising from this and you're a subscriber of mine on the x platform ask a question there and i'm going to hold your hands treat you like family you know but if you're not a subscriber of mine you're not even going to see this video until eight hours out of time in which case a lot of what i'm going to tell you right now might be obsolete you know, so I'm going to encourage you to subscribe to me. And subscribing is very easy. Go on X, search for me on the X platform, Renal Mercury, top right hand corner. You're going to see a subscribe button. Click on it, follow the prompts, and your subscriber. This is the Apostle of Prosperity, Renal Mercury, saying, God bless you. Travels all around the world. I hope you get inspired about what you see. Apostle of greatness, Renal is a master. Only one man against the old world in large. Fighting with the monsters. Poverty, I can't stand. That's why Renault is a